Hey guys, so a lot of people have been asking me to do a new what's in your bag video and I thought instead of doing the normal what's in your bag, I thought I would do a what's in my laptop bag because I recently got a new laptop bag and I take it with me everywhere so I thought I would show you what I take in it with me when I'm going to Costa or Starbucks or something to just sit down and get some editing done outside of my room so yeah i hope you find this video interesting and maybe even helpful especially when you're revising and stuff i find it really useful to like get out of your room because i prefer to have like my bed and stuff as the area where i sleep and relax and not do work so yeah let's get started so this is my laptop bag it is this gorgeous purpley leather and it is from a company called bright colors these laptop bags are literally the best because it looks so small as you can see it doesn't look big at all but they describe it as a TARDIS and it literally is a TARDIS. You'll see in a minute when you see all of the stuff that I've got in it. I took it to Paris with me and I managed to pack so much of my stuff just in here and it was so useful to just have all my like electricals and stuff in there. I'll link the website and everything below so you can go and check them out. They do have different colours like I know they had a really nice pink one but I just really liked the colour of this purple one and it's a really nice like leather finish. It does come with a strap that you can use as you can see it's just got these two handles um but you can like strap it on as a backpack or put it over your shoulder and stuff and there's little pins inside that you can use to connect this to but i like just carrying it like this the sun keeps coming in and out and i don't want to close my curtains and block it out i'm just gonna let it do its thing so anyway let's take a look inside so the great thing about this bag is that it zips all the way down so you can like fully open it out which is great for like getting stuff out of it and we'll start with just the actual purpose of this bag which is my laptop so i have my laptop in here in this little uh, bit with the straps and it is in this kath kidson holder which i really love like i've had this for a couple of years now and it's just really nice because it's what's this called oil cloth i think it's shiny anyway so you can't like get it that dirty and my laptop is a air so it's super light and super thin this is really nice and padded so it just gives it some extra protection when it's in the laptop bag so the other side of the bag is just like this it has loads of little pockets in here for you to put your stuff in and loads of pockets in the middle I've got a load of stuff in this side so I'll show you what I've got in here first up as you probably saw then is my dodo pad and this is a diary I've mentioned this a couple of times on Instagram but I definitely wanted to include this in a video because basically my whole life is in here now these dodo pads are so good they're not only like a diary but it just has so many like nice things in here it's set out really nicely with all these doodles and stuff and each page is different and it has loads of like little nice quotes and sayings and facts and stuff which i think is really nice look at this page of dogs it has salvador dali and melon collie so yeah it's just a really like funky pad and it has like sections like this is in dough dispensable data which you can just jot stuff down and as you can see i've got this little pen which i also got from the dodo pad website and it's just got this little swarovski crystal on the end so that's always good to have like a pen with me now i'm doing youtube full time i like to keep a diary and know when i'm up in london or when i'm doing stuff when i'm seeing people and also i've got my filming schedule in here I am now uploading just to let you guys know on a Monday and a Friday and yeah if you're looking to get a diary I definitely recommend a dodo pad I have my laptop charger in here just because Macs aren't the best for battery so I always have to carry that around with me I also have my phone charger because my iPhone is always running out of battery I always have my charger with me like even if I'm going to someone's house because sometimes they don't have the iPhone 5 charger so yeah I 
I just always have this with me even when I'm going up to London so I can sit in Costa or Starbucks and charge my phone. I really need to get one of those portable battery chargers for my iPhone. Next we have my purse which is actually so similar to this bag. Even the leather on it is so similar. The detail of it. This purse I got quite recently from Topshop and I love it so much. You just like clip it together in the middle. I think that was only about £15, so pretty good find in Topshop. Next up, I have my Tangle Teaser in there. I always carry a hairbrush around with me because I never know what the weather is going to be like. My hair is just, you know, as you can see today, it's just doing its own thing. I love, love, love this Tangle Teaser. I included it in my How I Curl My Hair video. <laughs> And I just had to point out that it is gold because I love it so much. I got this from feelyneat.com and it's really useful because it's the travel one. So it has this little bristle protector or whatever you want to call it. And it's just really nice and compact. Next we have some powder again because the weather can make my face go pretty uh, awful. And also I hate being shiny. So this is the collection Lasting Perfection Powder. It also has a mirror in the bottom and it did have a sponge but I really hate using sponges for powder. But yeah, that's just super useful if you're wanting a mirror when you're out and about and then obviously it flips down and you have your powder. As you can see, it has hit the pan because I just love this powder so much. I love all of the collection, lasting perfection collection. <laughs> oh, whatever you call it, the line, the lasting perfection line by collection. <laughs> and to apply this, I have my Nanchi brush. The Nanchi brushes have literally become my favourite brushes, even over Real Techniques, and that is something because the Real Techniques brushes are amazing. I'm going to be doing a video soon on these brushes just because I love them so much, and this powder brush especially is so soft, you wouldn't believe. Like I compare it to the Real Techniques one now, and I'm like... Oh my god, like the Real Techniques one I thought was soft, but this is just amazing. This I just carry around with me just to touch up my powder when I'm out. Next, we have a lipstick. This is a MAC one in Please Me. And I really love this colour. It's just the sort of like pinky, nudey colour. I always carry lipstick out with me because I think that, I don't know, I, I feel bare without any lipstick or lip gloss on. But obviously it can rub off during the day, so I just bring that with me, especially after drinking coffee and stuff. Another thing which I always have to have with me is chewing gum. I absolutely hate the thought that my breath might smell and that people might be smelling it and thinking, oh my god, like she has such bad breath, but I don't know how to tell her. Um, so yeah, I always carry this chewing gum with me, which is just the green extra one. I just think this one tastes the best out of them all. That's just my preference. Even after hot chocolate or coffee or something, I'll put chewing gum in just because I just really like my mouth feeling nice and clean and my breath smelling fresh. So yeah, chewing gum. And then finally, I have some nail glue because I have acrylic nails and sometimes these nails may snap or they may come off because mine are quite pointy they do tend to be really prone to catching on stuff so I always have nail glue with me just in case because I hate like the look of like a snap nail or like just having one nail missing or something. This nail glue is the Nailene Ultra Quick Nail Glue. This is the best one that I've found and it does dry ultra quick so if I'm in a rush or something I'll just chuck this in my bag and I'll put my nail on on the train or something and I usually do get quite a few weird looks. So I hope you like this video and I hope you found it interesting. I will make sure I link the Bright Colours website down below for you guys to go and check them out. I'll show you it now that nothing is in it. This is the bag. Like, you wouldn't expect all of that stuff to be able to fit much in it. But honestly, I could have fitted so much more in here. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I will see you very soon. Bye!